think that's exactly what a hallucination would say. Here, here. Why don't you throw a rock at me or something? Goodness. You are real. What is someone like you doing in the middle of my forest? No, no. That doesn't make sense. You see... People stopped coming to my forest a long time ago. I'm sure you've heard the stories somewhere at some point. No. Hmm. I must have been here for longer than I thought. Well, I see you're caught in one of my traps. I assume you don't want to stay there, right? Right. Great. Amazing. Fantastic. I'll knock you out, so you don't swallow your tongue when I yank the bed trap off. Just try not to flinch too hard, okay? Hey there, sleepyhead. Welcome back to the living. Easy there, easy there. It's okay. I'm sure the head trauma causes a little confusion, but you're in no condition to walk. Please, just try to think clearly. I met you in the woods, and you were trapped. I helped you. Is any of this ringing any bells? Oh, thank God. Good, good, good. I was worried I hit you too hard. Yeah, here. I got some soup going. You should eat. Glad you see it my way. Now, eat up. Staring. Well, of course I'm staring. Sweetheart, your visage is mesmerizing. Plus, as I mentioned before, I haven't seen another person in such a long time. Probably yes. I haven't counted. Yes. I've... I've been alone out here for quite a while now. I believe I left the town in. Uh, oh shoot. What year was it? Wait. What year is it? <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. I've never been the best with numbers. Carry the two. Minus eleven. Thirty-one years. Ah. Yes, yes, I do you think that's right. And I've switched caves about thirty times already. I think. So, it seems right. How old am I? Oh, <laughs> sweetie. I can't go around telling strangers my age. It's bad for my health. Why do I look old? I suppose we aren't perfect strangers. You are in my home, after all. What are you go first? How old are you, darling? So you are human, 
then, correct? Oh, God. I thought your blood smelled, human. But do pardon me, it's been quite a long time. Couldn't be sure. Well, of course we are. Of course I'm not human. Do you think a human could survive in this forest for 30 years and still look young? Don't know that. I know. I don't look a single day over 400. Oh, has it not clicked yet? I'm a vampire, darling. A very old one, at that. I know I don't quite look the part anymore, but I am. The dirt stained my hair brown and my sunlight resistance gave me a turn. But I promise you, I am as dead as the grave. Here, feel my skin. As cold as the cave you sit in. Ah, my thanks. Yes, it is quite a sad story. It's actually why I'm hiding out here. I used to live in a manor, you see, above a town. I had plenty of game. The occasional virgin sacrifice. It was splendid. Heroes would appear looking to slay and kill any evil vampire lords. And oh boy, did they make great thralls, ordering them what to do. <laughs> I had a perfect life. I was content until I was betrayed. Yeah, my my closest friend and head mate had evidently loved one of the heroes I enthralled. Despite our closeness, <laughs> she was too scared of me to simply ask for a love to be released. She really thought she could break my hold on her love the same way I had said it with my teeth. So, one fine morning, she drugged my dinner and sawed off my fangs while I slept. Now, this wouldn't matter too much, but my little village got word of my vulnerability and attacked me. Whether I had my fangs or not wouldn't save me then. I knew deep down I couldn't have defeated all of them, so that's why I tried to stay detached from them. I planned out to live in this forest for a few months, and evidently, of course, I let the year slip away. I suppose I can head back to my manor now, and see what's become of it. I wonder if those mongrels got to my fault. Oh well. That's the end of my tale of woe. I'd be angry, but I've had plenty of time to forgive and forget. Did you like your soup? Great. Great. Let me take the bowl from you. I'll be right back for my dinner. Yes, my dinner. Smelling your wound has left me very hungry. And it's not like I can consume this crap, now can I? Darling, did I hit your head too hard? I thought it'd be obvious. You're mine. That's the entire point of the bear traps. To catch an unsuspecting mammal like yourself. Oh, don't look so panicked. It will barely hurt, I promise you. I've had to become very, very creative to eat without fangs. And I've settled on a method that will make everyone's life oh so easy. And very efficient too. 
sweetie. Your leg is far too mangled to attempt any source of escape. In addition to this, I can sprint across this cave faster than you can blink. There's absolutely no use in running. Sit still and be patient. I'll be right back. <laughs> I've got everything. And I warn you again, if I turn my back and you aren't there, things will no longer be pleasant. Mm hmm? Now, that's a good pet. If you survive, now I'll teach you how to play fetch and roll over. Yes, if you survive. It's been a long time since I've tasted human. If I remember correctly, I used to go quite feral, animalistic over it. But that was a long time ago, so who's to say? Now, let's turn off all these pesky pain receptors, shall we? What do you look in my eyes, sweetie? Darling, darling, don't close your eyes. It's better if you let me chance you. It's either that, or I rip into you. While you're still fully awake, experiencing every stimulus. The choice is inevitably yours. Begging. Is so far beneath you, so incredibly wasted. I've been at this for a hundred years. You can't sway me with pretty talk. Just look at my eyes and lean into it. Fine, fine, fine. The hard way then. <laughs> I'll. I'll. Hold you down like this, and do what needs to be done. Oh, oh, it's the heart. Almost like someone warned you that it would. Now, hold still. We need to bleed into the same bowl you ate out of. Stop struggling. I can do this with you, unconscious. I just find that lower survival rate. If it hurts so bad, just open up those pretty eyes for me. And let me join to you. Deep breaths, so you are. Oxygenated blood tastes so much better. And it will most likely prevent you from fainting. You're gonna try to me with how lovely your blood smells. Way better than rabbits and wolves, I'll tell you. Although, you do seem to bleed a bit slower, but that's fine. I'm going to cut another, excellent, sweetie. Are you sure you don't want any trance to make you feel better? Good human. Picking what's best for you, I see. Now, look into my eyes. Good, good pet. Wasn't that easy? Letting go. You shouldn't be able to feel any pain anymore. So, I'm going to make my cuts now. Okay. See, painless. I imagine you can feel your thoughts getting a little duller. I want you to know that it's just a blood loss. 
not messing with your mind or, or manipulating your brain. I know it's a small net to pick, but it matters to me. You're filling up the bowl quite nicely. There should be enough for quite a few meals. More accurately, one really big meal before I storm my manor. Thank you for reminding me how long it's been, by the way. I don't know how much longer I would have waited. Hmm. I know that look. Death's at your door, isn't he? I suppose you've lost quite a lot of blood. You know, watching you die has made me feel something rather odd. I think it's... No. No, no, not guilt. Nostalgia. Oh, I... I missed watching people die. Or, or maybe I just missed watching people. Oh, oh I'm wasting blood. My, my, the bowl's full. Oh, it's dripping on the floor. Very delicious. Quite the fighter, aren't we? You're still alive, miraculously. I suppose that kills any idea of turning you. You'd be far too likely to seek revenge. I'll do one more thing while I've got you still trust. I don't know if you're still lucid enough to see, but I got a rod from my campfire. I'm going to cauterize your wounds. If you have enough blood in you left to survive, good for you. If not, then my condolences. I really do hope you survive, darling. You've done me a great service today. But sadly, can't stay to watch you recover. As soon as I finish my dinner, I'll be off. Going to take back my manor. Why don't you try sleep, sweetie? That way, you'll either wake up in heaven, or with closed wounds and an old headache. I'll leave the stew brewing. I'm sure you'll be starving if you survive. Probably cold, lightheaded, and deeply enraged. But I can't fix those. Good night, sweetheart. Thank you for everything.